Time is 6.30 and a quorum of the commission being present. I call this meeting to order. Um, we'll jump right to it. I don't see any um, minutes to approve. So we will go to agenda item A, emergency certification. David and Melissa Lane, 61. Assessors met eight, lot 69. Is there anybody here for that? Not seeing anybody rise. Joe, would you like to fill us in on this? Yep, uh, so this is another situation where it's a failed Title V. Uh, there's an order issued by the uh, Tewksbury Health Department for them to tie into town sewer uh, because it was a emergency situation that warranted me to issue the emergency certification since it was a failed system. Uh, the emergency certification, uh, the conditions that accompanied that were installing erosion and sediment controls and coordinating with me once they are installed. Uh, prior to construction. All right. Anybody on the commission have any comments or questions? No questions. No questions. <clears throat> Could I have a motion to approve the emergency certification? David and Melissa Lane. I have assessors map 8, lot 69. So moved. Could I have a second? Second. All those in favor? Aye. Chair votes aye as well. Agenda item B is continued. Could I have a motion to continue request for certificate of compliance, AJM Development, Inc., 15 Starbird Ave, subdivision DEP file number 305-9998 to the next meeting on uh, 6-22-2022. I'll make that most of Mr. Chairman. Could I have a second? Second. All those in favor? Aye. Chair votes aye as well. Agenda item C. Request for certificate, certificate of Compliance, Roger Gauthier on behalf of the Tewksbury Hospital, Massachusetts Department of Public Health, 630 East Street, Cessors Map 89, Lot 1, DEP file number 1130. Is there anybody here for that? Could you please come to the bench and introduce yourselves? Roger Gauthier. Eric Walmson. Do you have anything to present? Nope. Right. Joe, would you like to? Sure. This is a, a request for a certificate of compliance. This project was in regard to installing a water line down a, a state-owned dirt road that, reads, that leads uh, to a well pump house off of East Street. Um, so basically, the work consisted of um, <clears throat> trenching or direct drilling a water line. Um, after the work was completed, I was contacted to the areas following construction to see if they were, um, uh, you know, mitigated, reseeded, et cetera. And uh, my last site visit, everything seemed intact. All the erosion and sediment controls were removed. All the areas disturbance were reseeded and they were taking. So um, I didn't have any issues. All right. Any um, questions from the commission? No, I think it looks good. All right. Um, in that case, could I have a motion to approve the certificate of compliance for Roger Gauthier on behalf of the Tewksbury State Hospital, Massachusetts Department of Public Health, 630 East Street, Assessors Map 89, Lot 1, DP file number 305-1130. I moved. Could I have a second? Second. All those in favor? Aye. 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 Well, thank you very thank you much. Jones. All right. <clears throat> Agenda item D, request for certificate of compliance. Maureen Appleyard, 1420 Andover Street, Naomi Way, DP file number 3051076. Is there anybody here for that? Could you please come up and introduce yourself? My name is Jim Appleyard. I'm the applicant for the whatever it is. Do you have anything to present to us? Uh, Mr. Fontaine, I will present to you. <laughs> Are you comfortable with that? Yeah. He's more familiar with it than yeah. I am. Uh, so basically, this is uh, a project that never took off. This was uh, Dover Street, supposed to be Naomi, Naomi Way, like a two lot subdivision, I believe, proposed. Um, <clears throat> the only work that was actually done, or at least the 
the existing the conditions currently compared to the existing conditions uh, that were in existence when the permit when it was originally proposed in front of the commission uh, was that the ex existing house at the time has since been demolished mm -hmm. um, but other than that there's really no changes um, <clears throat> there's a small piece of silt fence which I would recommend you to just remove if you haven't already uh, <clears throat> but other than that I have no comments <clears throat> this would be a complete uh, certificate of compliance mm -hmm. All right, any questions or comments from So nothing has been done except the removal of a house? I think That's correct. Um, I, I, the builder kind of caved in on me, and I had to foreclose on him. Okay. I never did anything. So I, I do have a question, though, if I may, about the disposal of that thing you talked yeah. about you want me to get rid of. It's okay to just get rid of that, right? It isn't anything... Yeah, I mean, it's just, yeah, it's, it's, okay. it's a filter fabric and wood, so you can, you can trash that. Very good. All right, so we removed, a, we removed a dwelling and nothing else has transpired. Right. Okay. I wish I could say it had. <laughs> so it would otherwise be an... Uh, like you can issue a complete certification, a partial or an invalid, if it absolutely invalid would be issued, but because <clears throat> something has changed on the property, like what will be noted on the certificate of compliance is that the house was demolished, but that's about it. Okay. In a partial certificate, certificate of compliance, that wouldn't really apply for this because it's not like, typically we do those for bigger subdivisions and it's only the one yeah. house on there, so. The partial would imply that there's a portion of the project that's still underway. All uh, right, yeah. So whereas we're trying to close out the entire mm -hmm. Okay, right. so we're trying to clear their, the clear the, so whatever goes on before has to come again. Correct. Okay, yep. okay, understood. I, I'm selling the property and I need this to be able to. Yeah, so all right, correct. Right. Right. They don't intend just trying to understand yeah, yeah. the but dynamics right. of it, right? Yeah, I really it entirely. All right. Um, if nobody else has any questions or comments, um, I'll entertain a motion for a certificate for an approval of a certificate certificate of compliance for you know, Maureen Apple Yard, fourteen twenty Andover Street, Naomi Way, DP file number three zero five one zero seven six. No move. Could I have a second? Second. All those in favor? Aye. Aye. Chair votes <coughs> aye as well. Thank you very much. In, in order to satisfy this bank? Would it satisfy what? Uh, this lender for the buyer, am I gonna? Well, um, yeah, so Joe. Um, yeah, so there will be a permit that's, or not a permit, but the uh, actual document that says application yeah. for the project, that'll be generated uh, within two or three business days. Wonderful, okay. And uh, I'll say something off the record. He's a very competent young man. Yeah. <laughs> You're lucky to have him. He's polite, he's thorough, and he's responsive. Oh. Good job, Joe. <laughs> you know Thanks again. Wow. Thank you. You should have said that on the record. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> a compliment to the guy wearing the mask. Right. <laughs> All right. Okay. So, um, so next on the agenda is E, uh, request for determination of applicability. Kirk Zervis, uh, 170 Maple Street, Sessors Map 88, Lot 20. Is there anybody here? Could you please come and introduce yourselves? Hi, I'm Kirk Zervis, and this is my wife, Maria. Hi. Nice to meet you. Uh, do you have any questions? Nope. <laughs> Joe, you're on the, <laughs> you're recovering and you have to speak so much. Um, so this is a uh, request essentially to tie into the municipal sewer system. Um, it wasn't a failed system, so here they are uh, before the commission with an actual RDA application. Um, wetlands are 70 feet away uh, across the street where they would have the trench to reach the sewer lateral. Um, that's the reason why they're here today. Um, but so. Other than that, there's no real issues. The septic, system, the septic tank's out in the backyard, away, further away from wetlands. Um, so if the commission were to issue a negative determination of applicability, 
I would recommend the usual installing a silt fence or straw wattle around the area of construction um, and coordinating with me once those have been installed uh, prior to. Sure. So installing the straw wattle, silt fence, contacting me, then start work. Sure. You seem acceptable uh, to that. So, um, all right. Anybody on the commission have any questions or comments? No, no questions. questions. All right. This is a public cool. hearing. Uh, so I will give a moment for the public to run up and not seeing anybody go. <laughs> um, could I have a motion to close the public hearing? I move. Could I have a second? Second. All those in favor? Aye. aye. Chair votes aye as well. All right, and could I have a motion for a negative determination of applicability for Kirk service, 170 Maple Street, Assessor's Map 88, Lot 28? So moved. Could I have a um, second? Second. All those in favor? Aye. 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 Chair votes aye as well. Thank you very much. Thank you. Uh, I guess the next uh, thing we have to do will be sent to the water department in order for the permit. Yeah, so once a permit is issued, so within two to three business days following okay. today, um, once that's issued, it's essentially simultaneously approved by myself for the DPW permit. Sure, okay, and you said it's a, it's a silt fence? Yeah, silt fence, which is the uh, wooden stakes, and in between that is a filter fabric or sure. straw wattle. Okay. So usually the contractors are aware of those terms. Absolutely. Yeah, so. Okay, thank you very much. All right. Yep. Thank, you. thank you. All right, next on the docket. Um, request for determination of applicability, Kevin Price, 30 Bridal Path, Assessor's Map 40, Lot 83. Is there anybody here for that? Could you introduce yourselves for the record? Kevin Price. Nice to meet you. Um, I'm going to guess that you don't want to present anything and have Joe. Nope. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Um, um, so this is a proposed uh, 20 by 14 foot shed? Uh, yes. Okay. So 20 by 14 foot shed resting on a 22 foot by 16 foot gravel pad. Um, <clears throat> the newly installed gravel pad and shed is proposed to be installed further away from an existing shed, but still 40 feet uh, from an, a wetland. Um, it should be noted that there is a detention basin nearby, uh, but it's not considered jurisdictional since it was con like a construction construct. It's not. It's not uh, considered a wetland. Um, so just because the uh, the shed is about forty feet away, there's a portion of the shed that's going to be within the 50 foot no build zone. Um, and I know our bylaw <coughs> um, for the no build zone allows sheds, it, uh, it allows sheds that are 120 square feet or less. Um, so I, I'm not sure about the square footage that's actually going to be within the no build zone, but I imagine it's at least part of it will be. Um, be 42 feet away and it's what, what size was the shed uh, it was a 20 foot by 14 foot there's an eight foot difference so only it'll be eight by ten 80 square feet there you go um, and I don't have a problem with it yeah the, the only con the only comment I have about doing a site visit is to uh, avoid dumping grass cut cuttings into or near the wetland. That's my only kind of comment for that. Joe, sure, I guess to add to that, on your um, notes, you have five cut trees. Are they cutting five trees? Or are there cut oh, yeah. trees that already exist? There, there, were, there were trees that were already cut. Yeah, um, they were uh, They were dangerous. They were falling down rotten with um, like termites, things like that. The old owners had nailed stuff into it, so they were all dying. Safety thing. So I guess in any tree cutting would require a similar process in the permit as well. Um, other than that, I don't have any comments um, other than if the commission were to issue a negative determination, same thing as 
the last agenda item, installing the erosion and sediment controls once you go to install the shed and the gravel pad. So the uh, straw waddle, sill fence. Um, and then once those are installed, contacting me, I do the inspection. And then once I give the okay, you can start work. Is the house on town sewer? Yeah. Yep. Okay. I just want to make sure you're not building on a septic tank or something. All right. All right. Um, any other questions? Not seeing any. No. <coughs> this is a public <coughs> hearing. Um, so <coughs> not seeing anybody get up. Motion to close the public hearing. So moved. Can I have a second? Second. All those in favor? Aye. Aye. Chair votes aye as well. And could I have a, um, a negative determination of applicability um, as discussed at this meeting for Kevin Price, 30 Bridal Path, Assessor's Map 40, Lot 83? So moved. Can I have a second? Second. All those in favor? Aye. 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 Chair votes aye as well. Thank you very much. Aye. Thank you. Agenda item E, uh, enforcement order, PEPDE Corporation, 600 Woburn Street, Assessor's Map 3, Lot 82. Class is elimination, I guess. <laughs> <laughs> Paul, Paul DiMaggio, and I, I do have one more <coughs> thing after you get through the important part. Just uh, something that I think is So I, I worked on, actually I did some studying because it's interesting, came up with a, a bunch of plannings and how to do it, went through rain gardens and swales and detention ponds, turned it over to the landscape guy, and I was all wrong. So this is his, this is his work. I, I've never dealt with uh, planting in uh, mm -hmm. wetlands. In fact, my trusty phone, uh, I carry with me to identify trees when I'm in the woods. <laughs> <laughs> and on the pictures, which would be, I think, the second page, uh, I've got them here. Uh, it's, that's today. The, the landscaper said, well, you might want to show that to them because it, it might be overkill what you're doing. Uh, and I did, with my trusty phone, identify some of those things. And uh, poison ivy is quite prevalent in the foreground. <laughs> but there's a little bit of American burn weed. I have no idea what it is. Red maple, poison ivy, alder buckthorn, and American pokeweed, which I assume isn't great either. But uh, that's what the natural growth is, and it's come back. Uh, but he, he's got a fairly extensive uh, planting, I think. Uh, went a little beyond me, and he changed the uh, the plants to what I guess is available and what is more suitable mm -hmm. for the uh, soils. I'd come up, and I know nothing about these, and, and maybe Joe, you do. I, I don't. Uh, uh, river birch, uh, uh, switchgrass, orange rocket, bayberry trees. I don't think uh, barberry trees. Uh, yellow coneflower. Hydrangea, ferns, and hosta. But, where, where are you reading those? Oh, I, that was on my list. That's what oh. my research, research came out oh, of. Okay. None of those are there, I don't think. He was <laughs> moderately nice in saying, I changed some of the plantings. Yeah. So, yeah, uh, I but just received this. Uh, this afternoon. Yeah, this afternoon. So I didn't really give a, just at its surface, I, I, I like the density of the plantings, so. Um. Yeah, he had checked today, and I think that was part of the reason he was behind, and then I was away, I came back. Um, the, uh, those, those are available at whatever nursery he, he has, so that partially delayed his, uh, his work. Okay. And you know better than I if those things are, are suitable. It certainly looks like it's coming back, so do you have any concerns with the progress so far? No, I don't. Um... Yeah, we restaked the uh, uh, silt fence to be uh, more accurate. Uh, 
uh, that was just thrown in there real quick uh, the day it all happened. All of these species, like I, I don't know some of them, um, but I, I think it's mostly in an upland area, so as long as they're native plants, um, that can withstand an upland habitat, then that's, I think that's fine. I think the density is fine. I think as long as you do like a conservation, like wildlife seed mix in between, yep. then yep. that should be fine. The only other thing I would suggest is establishing a time frame for the installation and coming back again to update the commission with photos and et cetera. Yeah, I think he wants to pop on it. I'm not sure. Okay. I mean, he's over to the site quite a bit with other excavations. Okay. And I think he's, I, I'm not sure. I haven't had a chance to speak to him. Okay. <laughs> but I mean, if you see something on the list that uh, stands out as or not fitting, let us know. Yeah. We'll certainly change it. I haven't had the time to sure. look into each species and whether that would be fine, but I don't. I'm not. I'm not going to hold it up because I need to research the species. I think it's just the effort that has been put in to, you know, generate the plan and just the density of what is proposed. I think is, I think is good. And if there is something in the interim, I can yeah, let just you know. But, um, and then obviously outside the fence to go next to the driver would be loam and seed, and uh, at least establish it. Uh, as a whole lot better looking than it is in that part of it. I must applaud you, sir, because I think you did a hell of a job here. <laughs> this was the way they dumped the concrete. Okay, yeah, yeah, all right. Frank Hall comes back. Yeah, that was, yeah. yeah. I, I haven't forgot it. Silly mistake, <laughs> yep. Um, so where do we stand? Um, it can we... Do we approve an enforcement order? Well, you yeah. ratify it. Uh, ratify the enforcement order, and then we'll have the two growing seasons. Uh, you go up and inspect it in a year or something from now. Yeah. And then you come back for a certificate of compliance or whatever. So this would essentially act as the restoration plan, mm -hmm. and that's like what would be approved on, ratified on. Um, but we would just need to like, that's fine if we can hold the applicant accountable abiding by this plan, but we would just need to talk about a time frame. All right. An additional. Um, Assume I would call you as soon as we had it planted so you could see that much of it. Mm -hmm. I was going to suggest coming back, and we have a meeting in August. Yeah. I would say, you know, two months' time. Sure. Do you know what the first. date is off the top? We only have one, but I don't know the exact date. Okay. <laughs> well, if there's a conflict, I mean, that's peak summer. Who knows what? <laughs> yeah, uh, or the first, just, first I mean, meeting in September. You could also call and continue. Yeah. Also, you know. Sure. Yeah, I just don't want to keep, like, Kick keep putting it. Yeah, one. exactly. Yep. No, no, I want to get it done. And, no. uh, but it's still going to be, we're going to have to come back sometime. See what the progress is after it's done. So we have August 17th or, you know, September 7th, July 13th. Let's try August. Uh, August 17th. 17th. Yep. So. <laughs> I don't plan very hard far ahead anyway, so. <laughs> um. Well, we can go for August 17th for now, and if not, we can just continue. Yeah. Right, we can go a little bit later. Yeah. I mean, this has been quick response no matter what, so. Okay. Oh, and as, as regarding the signage, um, yeah. we are, we just placed an order for our new signs. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> you about it. Yeah. Did you already order these? No, no. Okay. I, I would just, I asked specifically for these. I mean, I don't know what sign, size your signs are, but. It's going to be a sim like the same size, essentially. Yeah, I would just, I mean, I presented there, asked him to quote on uh, a, a slightly larger sign because it would be more visible from the, the driveway there. 
and like to maybe go with those. They're a bit more expensive. And it did have a, a copy of another town that, that had the telephone number on it. I don't know if the phone number is correct or if you want that on. I think I gave the chair a, a copy of that. Uh, oh, Joe's got it. Yeah. And I'm just going to propose to make a little bigger sign there for at least those four or six signs there. Maybe okay. go with the regular ones on the wetlands that we have to do out back, where, you know, for the construction. See what they look like and see what you think. So it's okay. your home phone number that's on there? Oh, is it? <laughs> you don't want that. But whatever, whatever, so if somebody has a complaint on the other sides that I've seen, they have a number to call in to, to complain, you know, to, to, and so there should probably be a, the conservation commission or the building commission, building inspector or something, there's a number on the bottom of it, or just a suggestion, but we don't have to do that. I just like to try, they're uh, nine by twelves, I think. Oh, I thought it would show I don't, a little I, bit. I don't have a, that, if that's what you're referencing. This this is a, like a four inch by four inch sign. Yeah, I think there was a second sheet that I um, handed out that was a little bigger. Is it on that? That sign, but it had my writing on it. Oh, oh, oh. Yeah, this just says nine. Oh, so you're just trying. Okay, so you're just trying to enlarge the sign to be nine by twelve. Okay. Um, so you're trying to make it more obvious to. Yeah. To what's going to go right especially the one that's on the road understood. maybe people will think as they're driving by and they see that well maybe i don't throw my crash out here <laughs> understood yeah. and just see what you guys think of it when it's done i certainly not going to help <laughs> no <laughs> <laughs> you know the fortunate thing is people don't do that much anymore they really don't like crying indian did a, a heck of a job on that uh, campaign what 20 25 years ago yeah uh, um <clears throat> but uh, what uh, what do you feel for number of signs, and can I give that a shot? <clears throat> so this isn't a sign that was drafted by the commission. So this okay. is like someone's idea. Like a, yeah, yeah. This is not our like, sign to say yes. Or, okay. Can can I see it? Yeah. yeah. It's just a, a little bigger. It's a little bit more yeah. prominent. It would either with or without a phone number for a, a complaint. Um. I mean, it has essentially all of the same information as our new sign. I have no problem with a slightly different looking sign um, on the posts and stuff. I'm not sure how the rest of the commission. Yeah, I mean, that's up to you. I just I'd say as long as the colors are the same. I think that's the key because, like, yeah. that's how you identify something. All, right. like, all signs are the same. About the green tree as opposed to the clear tree with no. the green. <laughs> the You're side. using the green yeah. white. I mean, he, uh, he knows what your logo is now. Uh, is it similar to the the yeah, ducks and the cattails? Interior now. Yeah, whatever we end up showing. Yeah. we chose. Mm -hmm. But I would I, make sure the colors are the same because that's going to kind of be right. I think we're trying to achieve order. the same goal. Yeah. Yeah. As long as it's similar. Yeah, I, I don't think I don't think we should have an issue. Well, you, you said you haven't ordered any no, signs yet. No. So I mean, we have the prints for um, the new sign. Can you send that to him? Um, and you can either use that one or something that looks similar with the same colors. I yeah, I mean, I don't want to make a, a okay. you know yeah, a you big deal. Go to this, our sign guy and just have him blow it up. But yeah. It's easier. Yeah. 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 So yeah, I'll, I'll do that on it then for uh, reporting in. I mean, you certainly don't want your number on it. Who wants that? Right, Joe's personal email is okay, no phone number. Right? <laughs> if somebody is going to report something, they're going to call the police department anyways. Yeah. Right. Yeah. Uh, yeah. So I don't take a phone number. Leave the phone number. Yeah. 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 Okay. I just wanted something a little bigger to catch. Uh, so attention. The commission could ratify this, like the enforcement order, uh, in doing so approve this, you know, restoration plan with the assumption or with the conditions that one, there's a, like a conservation mix used in between the shrubs and the trees. Mm -hmm. uh, two, where the signage is still going to be required as yeah. part of the restoration, and then 
frame is coming back to us to check in on August 17th. August for the beginning anyway, yeah. Yep. I mean, which it should be planted and done, but you want to see it after it fills in. Correct. Mm -hmm. All right, we're all cool with that. Yeah. Um, then could I have a motion to ratify the enforcement order as discussed at this meeting for PEPDE Corporation 600 Woburn Street, Assessors Map 3, Lot 82? And uh, I'll, I'll uh, move the question with discussion on one thing that the plan that was submitted dated 6-8-2022, estimate 2238. That's the only thing that's dated in other than the pictures. So, so yeah, I can just write the date and scan it and attach it to the ratified right. form. Yeah. All right. Um, so can I have a motion to um, ratify the enforcement order as discussed at this meeting. I think that so, covers everything. Yeah. Do I have a second? Second. Um, all those in favor? Aye. 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 Chair votes aye as well. Thank you very much. Thank you. Leah. Thank you. Thanks for your diligence. If, oh, yeah. Diligence is a dump car. Could I just do a back page? Oh, there was one here that had phone numbers on it. I don't know. Is it this, this one? Is, this is has what? Uh, All right. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Is it a quick meeting or do you have more? Oh, we're here. halfway through. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you. All right. Um, agenda item H is enforcement order Andrea Lentz, um, 52 Allen Road, assessors map 107, lot 23. I don't see anybody here for that. So yeah. an update for that is uh, <clears throat> um, she had given me a call today saying that she was sick and was unable to make the meeting, but she is coordinated for someone to come by. They're just backed up All right. with work. Um, in that case, um, uh, continue it to the next meeting or uh, <clears throat> until they call back? Or, uh, I, I'll follow. I just don't want to, again, keep like putting things on the agenda yeah. just for them to be continued. So um, I can follow up with them, you know, before the next meeting just to see where they're at. Mm -hmm. Um, so I don't see a need for, if they're going to be a month out, it sh wouldn't make sense to put them on the 22nd of June since that's not a month out. So just continue it to a meeting to uh, be determined? Sure. Do I have a motion to that effect? I move. Do I have a second? Second. All those in favor? Aye. aye. Chair votes aye as well. Um, this, this is uh, the agenda item I, which is part of the most recent updated has been continued to. All right. Um, so could I have a motion to continue this notice of intent for Karen Skinner Catroni on behalf of the homeowners, 765 Whipple Road Assessors Map 31, Lot 57 to the next meeting on 622. So moved. All those in, uh, do I have a second? Second, trying to All put me out of business. What's that? You're trying to put me out of business. <laughs> <laughs> All those in favor, please uh, say aye. 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 Cheer votes aye as well. All right. Um, and now public hearing notice of intent plan plex 60 Highland View Road, Assessors Map 23, Lot 53, DEP file number 3051155. I don't see this application. So without discussing it further, um, we will continue it. Um, do you want to go for the next meeting or um, do you want to uh, be determined? I think for this one, I would put it on the next meeting. All right. Um, could I have a motion to continue this notice in, of intent to the next meeting? So moved. Could I have a second? Second. All those in favor? Aye. Aye. Chair votes aye as well. 
Um, this one's uh, K is being continued. Could I have a motion to continue this notice of intent woodland design um, of 73 Emerald Court, Tuxbury, Mass, 40 Long Meadow Drive, DP file number 3059 to the next meeting on 622. So moved. Could I have a second? Second. All those in favor? Aye. 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 Chair votes aye as well. All right. Um, could I have a motion to continue public hearing notice of intent civil design consultants on behalf of Arnie Martell, 70 Fraser Lane, assessor's map, uh, 25 lot 86 DP file number 3051158. So moved. Could I have a second? Second. All those in favor? Aye. Chair votes aye, aye as well. And could I have a motion to continue Notice of intent civil design consultants on behalf of Arnie Martell, Fraser Lane, paving project, DEP file number 3051157 to the next meeting on 622. So moved. Uh, um, all those in favor? Aye. 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 Chair votes aye as well. All right. Um, violation notice 2493 Main Street LLC, 2493 Main Street, Assessor's Map 90. For lot 57. Is there any update on this one? Um, I contacted the owner of the property. He has since gone back to me. Um, I think he acknowledges that some of the debris is his responsibility to clean up. He just complained about um, poison ivy kind of being overgrown there. So he was going to come back within like a month or so to to at least have the time to maybe weed whack that area so that he can the debris all right um, so i would continue it to the date to be determined all right i don't think it has to be continued it's a violation oh, yeah. so yeah well yeah you can <laughs> keep it on the agenda until he shows up yeah. <laughs> All right, um, so did somebody not get a agenda item N? I, I got two P's, I think. Yeah, I got two P's. Uh, I don't have an N. Somebody missing a P? I have my P. All right. Oh, no, I had the N. Um, then we'll go on to the town of Tewksbury, 255 Livingston Street, Assessor's Map, 86, Lot 40. So an update for this is I, I just received uh, a, a, a third-party consultant review of the site. Um, so I guess. Is this what you emailed out, Joe? Yeah. Okay. So I, I'm still working through comments because I'm not exactly sure what is being proposed. Uh, but his conclusion was that the riprap should stay in place. Um, and, but mitigation should be proposed for whatever alterations there were to BVW. So, so I guess that, that already, didn't you already reach out to DEP about this? And they recommended something different? Yes. So we're going to go, and go against DEP's recommendation? So DEP's enforcement lead, um, through my conversations with her, that was her recommendation was because you didn't have to do this, then it should have never have been done, and you need to put it back the way it was. Um, but. So ultimately, the answer is yes. Um, so I just haven't, like this just came in. I, I basically got to read it this morning and I'm still working through comments with him to see exactly what he's trying to propose. Um, I really don't have a formal opinion at okay. this point. So this is something that you need to go through and if, yeah. if not, maybe forward to the DEP for their review as a 
Well, <clears throat> they couldn't review it for me, um, but I think that, like, I think the commission and myself should take time thinking about what to do here because this is, you know, DEP has told us one thing to act a certain way. I understand where this is coming from, but we should consider all factors. And again, I still don't have a formal opinion. Okay. I mean, my right, so why don't we kick the can down the road until yeah. it's yeah, until it's absorbed? Yep. Yeah. I send that to DP and go to not that they would be reviewing it for you, but that as a they right, would. as an alternative. Well, I think you can read it and then reach back out and right present yeah. the questions. I don't think it's yeah, all right, yeah, so. yeah. Not asking them for review, but asking to say, hey, look, this is just like you reached out last. You have new information. Kind of say, how do we act? <clears throat> information I received a report. These are my comments. Do you kind of agree or disagree with my take on yeah, how like I'm whatever. interpreting the letter? Like, basically, you're presenting it to them. Say, what do you think? Yeah, and like I said, I'm still, I'm still confused about the mitigation that's being proposed here, um, because I don't know if it's being proposed that he just remove invasive species within existing wetlands versus, you know creating wetlands based off the square footage of alteration, which is what you're supposed to do, so. So I think the thing here is not to put you on the hot seat, is for you to absorb it and understand what their yeah, yeah. thing, and then we, we move on from there. Yeah, yep. Um, you folks yeah. in agreement? Yeah. Well, let's so. understand what we're up against. We just, right. I mean, you just got it right. this morning, so. Okay. All right, so do you, um, let's continue uh, do you have a motion to continue this enforcement order to the next meeting on 622? Sure. Or until Joe has had time to review the comments? So move. Could I have a second? Second. All those in favor? Aye. Chair votes. We don't want to put Dennis out of business. <laughs> That's right. <laughs> I'm making money here. <laughs> Um, all right, agenda item P, violation of this, <coughs> Town of Tewksbury, DPW, 999 Whipple Road, Assessor's Map 30, Lot 26. So an update for this is um, <coughs> I've been informed that they're in contact with a, a consultant to draft the restoration plan. They actually, that consultant had given me a call today just asking what guidelines they should be going off of uh, for restoration. Um, I guess just for, to let you guys know, I told them like one shrub or tree per 100 square foot of alteration. I thought that's fair. Um, but that should be coming in within the month, I would anticipate. Okay. So you want to continue this to the next meeting or two meetings? I, Violations don't have to be continued. Oh, they don't. But okay. informally, yeah, um, continue to the... Yeah, until and, or until, yeah. They, until it's I receive it. All right. Okay. Yeah. Okay. So continued until more information. Mm -hmm. Okay. All right. Now, I don't have this in front of me, but um, can I have a motion to continue the public hearing request for determination of applicability for Bethany McGoldrick, 19 Pond Street, Map 31, Lot 8? So moved. Do I have a second? Second. All those in favor? Aye. Aye. Chair Aye. votes aye as well. And last but not least, emergency certification. Chair Robert Salomon, 60 Sesame Street, Assessors Map 9, Lot 56. So this is a similar to agenda item A. Uh, it's a failed Title V. Uh, the, the Tewksbury Health Department had followed up with their own order to tie in that allowed me to issue emergency certification. Mm -hmm. The emergency certification was accompanied by the conditions of installing a silt fence, a straw bottle, and coordinating with me once it's installed and prior to construction. No comments, though. Right. Um. I'll make a motion to uh, ratify the emergency certification. 
Do I have a second? Second. All those in favor? Aye. 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 Chair votes aye as well. Cool. Um, new old business, administrative reports, anything else? New business. Yeah. yeah. So the new business is uh, DPW water replacement. Oh, is this Radcliffe? Is this Radcliffe Road? This is School Street. Oh. I think this was in response to a failed water line. Um, it's along School Street. There's wetlands basically across the street on either end of the road. Um, and I believe it's going to be a replacement in the sense that they're going to leave the water line existing and just replacing it with a new water line. Um, that's you're going to do erosion and sediment controls where there's wetlands. Um, I think they propose straw waddles and silt sacks within the catch basins. Um, they said this is School Street? I think so. It says Andover Street and River Road intersection improvement project. They've been doing this road. That looks like they want to. Uh, Oh, an extension. Yeah, that's why I went there wasn't enough cookies. <laughs> yeah, okay. Well, they, they gave me two things at the same time, so I think I just missed mixed them up. Um, I've got uh, 133 in River Road. That's what I have. Yeah. Yeah. Sure. Yeah. Sorry, I'll, Pat. I'll, I'll take those. Uh, I want it back. Will this, will this one be on the next um, meeting then? Or is uh, this also um, just just, a, just an or, emergency, Joe? I mean, they they get us out right away or something? Yes, because it's related to a recent water line break. Is my I, understanding? I so. heard about it. Yeah. yeah. All right. So this is part of the water for Keep town it. usage. Yeah. Fix it so this is, you know, you can look at all the plans all day long. It's got to be fixed. Right, if it has to be repaired. Yeah, like I said, emergency, that's, you know. I mean, and, and if we're not excavating in wetlands, we're just basically putting something in parallel. And, and it's a public utility. Yeah, it's for the, you know. Yeah. Uh, I mean, what do you have for comments? We've got to fix it. Just that it's an exempt activity. Yep. <laughs> Yeah, I okay. mean, uh, I'm, I'm comfortable not saying the exact plans. But, you know, they, they did draft plans that showed erosion and sentiment controls and, you know. And, they're, and they'll be under the uh, eye of the town engineers, correct? Correct, yeah. Okay. I guess they take a same visit. So okay. Once it starts. Okay. Make sure everything's up. Yeah, I can, like, once they install the erosion. I can forward uh, you the plans. Um, all right, any other new or old business or anything I, else? I, I have a question to ask. Yes. So, um, gazebos. <laughs> <laughs> so, again, the, the bylaw, or the Wetland Protection Act in exemption says um, accessory structures for residential use, such as sheds, pools, etc. Our explicitly states decks, pools, sheds. So we don't use etc. What's that? Yeah, we don't use such as and we don't use etc. Um, however, I 
a gazebo it's a shed yeah like it's, it's the same really thing kind of how it's a know, shed it's without wa it's a shed without walls yeah. right <laughs> It's got a roof and it's got a floor. I consider it a shed out of that's the list of modifications that we yeah. need to make for whenever that does get yeah. reviewed. Yeah, I, I agree. And modified. Yeah. But, so. but essentially, it's a shed without a wall. Yeah. It's got a I roof agree. and a floor. I agree. If you allow a shed to be 120 square feet, then yep. you know, why not a gazebo? Mm -hmm. Anticipated this meeting going much longer. <laughs> yeah, not too bad. Um, all right, in that case, could I have a motion to adjourn? So moved. Um, can I have a second? Second. I. <laughs> I didn't want to steal it. How was that? Aye. Should I do a roll call? Vote? That <laughs> all those in favor. Aye. Aye. Chair votes aye as well. Next meeting is June twenty second, twenty twenty two.